A rare presidential visit to the Garden State today. President Barack Obama brought his economic agenda to New Jersey. Air Force One touched down at Newark Liberty International Airport around 1.30 this afternoon. The Democratic president was greeted by Republican Governor Chris Christie and Newark's Democratic mayor and rising political star Cory Booker. The three seemed relaxed as they chatted briefly on the tarmac. It was the president's fourth visit to New Jersey since taking office a year and a half ago. From Newark Liberty, the president was whisked away in Marine One to Middlesex County. There in Edison, Obama visited a popular sub shop to promote his small business economic policy. He took part in a roundtable discussion in the shop. Now we have team coverage of the president's visit. We go first to Jerry Henry in Edison, where Obama, of course, spent part of his afternoon. And Jerry, he was over there at the Tasty Sub Shop. Yes? That's right, Jim. As you well know, the president is known for dropping in on eateries, usually burger sh uh, shops down in Washington, D.C. But today, it was this small sub shop here, shop here in Edison that got national attention. The president rolled into Edison 40 minutes behind schedule, but that didn't appear to bother the thousands who lined the streets to get a glimpse of the motorcade. Once inside the Tasty Sub, we're told he ordered a half sub to go. Then he sat down with store owners Carl Padovano and David Thornton, as well as Tom and Catherine Horsberg, all small business owners. His message was for the Senate to pass a package of bills designed to cut taxes and make more money available for small business. This town, Edison, is named after somebody who was not only one of history's greatest inventors, but also a pretty savvy small business owner. And the small business people uh, who are here with me today uh, exemplify that same entrepreneurial spirit. And all these companies have seen their share of challenges. Uh, all of these small business owners have had to improvise and adapt over the years, especially in tough times, and that includes over the last couple years. Government can't replace the millions of jobs that we lost in the recession but it can create the conditions for small businesses to hire more people through steps like tax breaks. That's why we've cut taxes for America's small businesses eight times. Eight times have we cut taxes for small businesses all across the country. And I was just talking to Dave, uh, uh, who does the right thing by his employees and is providing health insurance. They actually are not paying uh, uh, a, a a significant share for that health insurance. Dave and Carl are doing the right thing by those workers. He's now going to be eligible to potentially get up to 35% tax relief on those premium that he's paying.